Okay, this is video number 11 of how to disassemble or reassemble your Honda GXV engine. Now we last left off with the gas tank. This is a 12 millimeter bolt. So, I'm sorry, this is an 8 millimeter bolt. You're going to want to use a 12 millimeter socket. You tighten this down to 15 foot pounds. So go ahead and tighten that down to 15 foot pounds. After you get that torque down, let's move over here to the exhaust real quick. Here's your exhaust manifold gasket. This is going to slide on here first and this right here is an oversized gasket and what it does is it protects the heat from uh, hitting that spark plug and spark plug wire. Now this thing could go on a few different ways but the only logical way it goes on there is going to be this way. So you're going to have to have the hole facing out towards the front because it wouldn't make sense to throw hot exhaust gases back against that engine. Now if you remember you got these two funky look, looking little um, washers and they're sealing washers. They seal your exhaust gases. We're going to put those on here. Okay. Now you should have two nuts left over for the exhaust and you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket. I grabbed a, so a socket and a 3 inch extension. And these are six millimeter nuts, so I want you to tighten these down to seven foot pounds. Okay? Tighten both those down to seven foot pounds. After you do that, now it's the time for the shield. We're gonna put the shield on just kind of loosely here. Now your shield needs to line up, that hole right there needs to line up. This stud needs to line up here. Come around this way. The fuel tank is gonna have to line up with that right there. And then your cover needs to be in front of the valve cover, okay? All right, so there's a few bolts you should have left over. Let's talk about these two real quick. All right, this one's a little bit longer than this one. This one right here is for your oil fill tube. So you put this in here like so. And it can be a little tricky. Okay, once you get that started, move on here and find your nut. Take your nut, put it on the back side of here. Now we take our long 6mm bolt. We get all this to line up now. Once you get all that lined up, you should have three little bolts right here. They're all 6mm. This one is just a little bit longer. This goes to your valve cover, so we're going to put that in the valve cover. These are 10 millimeter heads, but they're 6 millimeter bolts. And if you look on your torque specs, it says that they should be down to 7 foot pounds if it's not otherwise listed. Now, this one right here would be called your cylinder head cover bolt. So they want this one to nine foot pounds. Nine foot pounds for this one, I would do, uh, the other ones I'd do seven. All right, go through, after you get all those started, torque them down to spec, okay? I'm not gonna show you that so we can keep this video a little shorter. All right, your pull rope needs to be, the pull rope needs to be facing towards your oil, uh, fill. So you got these three little 10 millimeter head bolts. We're going to put these on. You may have to use a extension. Okay, 
Go through and torque these to seven foot pounds each. Okay. After you get those torqued down, now it's time for your air filter assembly. Put your air filter on. Looks like it only goes on one way. Okay. Now you should have these two little wing nuts. Look like this. And just snug these with my hand. All right. That should be just about it. The only thing you may want to try is that you get everything together. You probably want to pull this just to make sure your engine does turn a little bit. Okay? Make sure it turns over. Do not add gas to these. Do not add oil to these. Just don't try to start them. Okay. That's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching all these videos. I appreciate you guys working on these engines. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please don't hesitate to contact me.